Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Washington Redskins franchise here on Madden 20. Today we have two games on tap as well as the radio show today. First a road game in Buffalo against the Bills. Then we're going to have our bye week and then we will come back home to face the New York Jets. As you can see, nice game for Josh Norman last week. Let's get into the radio show. It's going to be a short one. We've only got one question and it's our weekly video question from Nick. So let's get into it. Never back down. We will not relent. All right, let's get into our radio show. Remember, do not be afraid to hit the like button if you are enjoying this video, as well as subscribe if you are new to the channel. There is plenty more of this franchise, as well as many other franchise series coming your way, as it is franchise content all day, every day, here on Franchise Gaming. So, Nick, you are on the air. What do you have for us this week? How are you planning to deal with the recent plague of injuries to the running backs? And uh, who is the heir to Adrian Peterson currently? As Bryce Love has looked like the superior player, but Darius Geis, as we know, is the more talented player. But who's the current front runner for that? And uh, is Samaj P. Ryan going to be the lead back thing forward until uh, Darius Geis? and or Bryce Love or Peterson come back from injury. Well, the Redskins have not signed anyone new, so I would expect Samaj P. Ryan to be the lead back this week, and I would expect to see maybe a carry or two from the fullback as well in spellback situations. They may try to get some other people involved taking carries, Guys like Terry McLaurin, maybe Trey Quinn on a couple reverses here and there. Some little trickery to maybe spice up the run game a little bit. But I think Dwayne Haskins is going to be very instrumental in probably the next couple of games. But certainly this game against the Buffalo Bills. We'll really see what he can do all alone without a running back. But... During the bye week and then getting into that week against the Jets coming up at home, I think they're going to get maybe one or both running backs back. So they decided not to opt into signing somebody and just try and get through a couple of weeks without these running backs. So we'll see how that turns out for them in this episode. Again, guys, that's going to be it for today's radio show. If you want to get into next week's radio show, don't be afraid to email a mp3 or video clip to franchiseguy88 at gmail.com. Thank you all, and let's get into the highlights. Into the highlights, here we go, and it is Haskins starting off with it against the Bills, and that's Jordan Reed. He's going to catch the first down inside the 50 onto the other side of the field here, threatening the Bills. Samahe Perrine, the only running back on roster right now as everybody seems to be hurt, and nice run for him. That's going to get into the red zone here for Haskins. He's rolling out. He's looking for somebody. He steps away from the rush, but he's going to get hit and fumble the football. It will be picked up by the Redskins O-line. The fullback now coming in to spell Pirine. That is Wellman. He's going to pick up the first down. A third and goal, and Pirine will not get there, but there will be a face mask in favor of the Redskins here. Again, Shaq Lawson of the Bills, and that's going to give the Redskins a new set of downs. And then on the end around, it is Terry McLaurin for six as the Redskins are going to start this one off 7-0. So now the Buffalo Bills going to start with the ball for their first possession, and that's a nice little throw there by Josh Allen to pick up a third in inches. So now Josh Allen on a first and 10. He's going to get that one complete, and that's going to be another first down for him and his Bills. Third and seven, going to throw the screen and another completion and another first down, and Josh Allen is rolling 5-5 five of five for 35 yards here. Now going to hand off the football, and that's going to be a nice little gain, but T.J. Eldon is going to come out of the game injured. Very nice reverse direction there to pick up the first down for Edwards, 
who I've never really heard of, and he's going to go again in another nice run for him, picking up a third and three. Now on third and goal, Allen has to look towards the end zone. He does. That's going to be incomplete, throwing into double coverage. So the Bills are going to settle here for a field goal attempt. It will be good. It's a 7-3 to three ball game to start us off. Now Haskins doesn't see the blitz and a huge sack by Micah Hyde coming in. Just couldn't get rid of the football quick enough. So now first and 10, and that's going to be TJ Yeldon coming back into the game with another nice run for him. First and 10, Allen looking, firing the ball right in there. Josh Allen, of course we know he has that arm, but when he's accurate, it is awesome. That's a nice throw right there to Adam Humphreys for a touchdown. Big play. And the Bills will go on top 10-7. So now Redskins with the ball on their next possession. It's a throw across the field, and that's going to have Paul Richardson Jr. as he cuts downfield inside the 20 to the 19. Haskins starts off his day 3 of 3. Now a first and 10. Haskins looking, and he finds a man, but he's going to fumble it into the end zone. It's going to be a touchback. Bills will recover the fumble by Terry McLaurin. Not exactly what we want to see from him as we're hoping for good things in the future from him. Third and 17. Bill's going to throw short, not going to get there. So it's going to be first and 10 for the Redskins after the punt. Some Mahe Pirine with a nice truck. That's going to pick up a first down. So the Redskins already in Buffalo territory here on a first and 10. That's a very nice completion. Micah Hyde could have easily cut that off, but Trey Quinn makes a huge catch. Dwayne Haskins starting 5 of 5. Now he's going to roll to his left, and he's going to find another man. That's Samahe Pirine as another great catch for him. And Haskins, first seven passes completed. Make it first eight as Terry McLaurin with another beautiful catch right there. And we would settle for a field goal on fourth and goal. So the Redskins going to tie the ball game at 10. Very important here as there's Josh Allen, and that's a big throw and a big completion. Adam Humphreys again coming up big, getting open. Now Allen going to throw this one, and that's going to be brought down as a nice mossing right there. And now a first and ten. He's going to throw to the flats, the tight end. Big play, but a fumble, but it would be recovered by Buffalo. Second and ten here. It's Allen looking. He's got another man. That's TJ Yeldon breaking tackles, getting inside the 20 to the 15. He'd get hurt again. So not been an easy day for Yeldon, but a nice catch there for the score. And first career touchdown reception right there. It's going to be a 17-10 game. Perrine cannot get to the first down marker. Bills would call timeout, get the ball back here. But they would do nothing. And now into the third quarter, the Bills would start with it. They'd fumble and again recover. Seeing a pattern here. Here's TJ Yeldon, whacked by Landon Collins, but not before he could pick up a first down. Here's another huge completion of the tight end over the middle as Josh Allen's really been utilizing him very well today. There's a throw, and that's intercepted as Quentin Dunbar going to end up with it. And taking off down the right sideline. He'll break Josh Allen's tackle, but he will not be able to break the second tackle there. And starting off with great field position here at the Bills 20, it is the Redskins. There's the throw, and that's Trey Quinn. He's got his way to the two. On a first and goal, it's an RPO to Trey Quinn. It's a touchdown, and the Redskins are back in this one as they are going to get the tie, 17-all. So Josh Allen looking for a man. He's got his tight end over the middle. That's another fumble and another recovery by Buffalo. Here's TJ Yeldon again, and this time Landon Collins going to miss him on the back juke. Third and 11 for Josh Allen now, and this tight end's just been huge for him. Huge. Here on a third and six, it's going to be a tipped ball. Incomplete. Buffalo going to settle for a field goal try and it is up and in. So 20 to 17 now. Redskins with 137 to go in the third. Here's Haskins, he's looking, he's gonna find a man. He's got Jordan Reed, nice little sidestep juke and that's gonna be a first down near midfield. 
Third and six now later on for the Redskins, and that's going to be a huge sack at this point in the ball game by Jerry Hughes as the Bills will earn their football back. And on a third and inches here, it's going to be a clear passing situation for some reason. No running backs in the backfield, but a completion nonetheless for Buffalo. Here's TJ Yeldon, and he's going to skip a tackler, and he's going to break a, make a nice juke there and take off as he gets inside the 15 to the 10-yard line. Yeldon had a huge game in this one. Third and goal, and Josh Allen, inaccurate pass there to his tight end, who probably would have made the grab, but another field goal on the board for Buffalo. They're up six. So they just need to prevent touchdowns from getting in. Here's Perrine. He's going to pick up a third and one. Big pickup there as it'll be first and ten for the Redskins. And that is incomplete. Tipped and intercepted by Buffalo. Huge interception for Johnson. And Buffalo will take it back. So back over to that tight end for the first down on third and six. Josh Allen using his security blanket the way he needs to. First and ten. Here's an out throw to the outside. That's going to be complete as the defender whiffs on the aggressive play towards the ball. And that's going to be a 45-yard touchdown pass to Zay Jones. Bills will go for two here. Try and make it a 14-point game, but they're not going to get it. Matthew Ioannidis comes in on the sack there. So a 29-17 ball game. It's a 12-point game. Redskins aren't done by any means. Samahe Pirine going to make a nice catch there across the middle, get a first down. So first and 10 now, and Haskins going to hold the ball for too long here. Get over to the sidelines, but a face mask really going to help out Washington here. So they're going to be able to have another first down, and it's going to be to the 20, as now it's a second and 10, and Samahe Perrine, a beautiful run, but another flag on the play, and this time it's not going to go in favor of Washington. It is a holding call. That's going to come back. So second and 11 here from the 21. It's a throw to the end zone, a beautiful catch by Jordan Reed, who's able to make the play over Micah Hyde there. First touchdown of the day for Jordan Reed, and we've got a ball game. It's a five-point game. Josh Allen going to take a sack. He's going to fumble it. It's going to be picked up by Ryan Kerrigan. Touchdown, Redskins. What a play defensively. However, it would be Booth reviewed, and when we take a look at the Booth review, Josh Allen's knee was down. So it will be a sack. It will not be a fumble. Second and 16. Here's TJ Yeldon going, and he will get caught after a moderate gain. Now a third and nine, and Yeldon's blown up in the backfield. So the Redskins going to get the ball. 32 seconds, three timeouts for them. Here's a throw to Perrine. Perrine's going to get the first down here, fighting for yardage. That'll be the first timeout taken. Now second down, second play here is going to be a nice completion here to Jordan Reed. That's going to be another timeout. So one timeout remaining for Washington with 15 seconds to play. Haskins under pressure, throwing to the end zone, incomplete there. Now on a second and 10, it's Haskins throwing one up for Paul Richardson. He cannot come down with the grab. Five seconds left in this one. It's Haskins again, this time throwing the goalpost route. And... No Redskins come down with it, so it's game over. 29-24 Bills. Josh Allen, 21-34 for 293 touchdowns and a pick. Dwayne Haskins, 19-28 of 28 for 274, two touchdowns and a pick. So both quarterbacks played relatively good, relatively well. As far as the running game, obviously the Bills had a way more active running game than the Washington Redskins in this one. TJ Yeldon had 132 yards. It was very limited for Washington, only having Perrine and Wellman out there. Next game, they hope to get a couple guys back. We'll see what happens. Jordan Reed had 88 yards and a touchdown. He was the big man for Washington, and he was the leading receiver in today's ball game. Nobody got a pancake in this one. Looking over at the defense, nine tackles for Sean Deion Hamilton. Troy Apke was very active out there making some tackles and some plays. 
The pick by Quentin Dunbar was huge. It really put the Redskins in line to maybe make some kind of move in this one, but all in all, just couldn't pull this one out on the road. So now the Redskins will go back home after the bye week. They chose to get some ex extra preparation instead of rest, and it did not pay off here as Le'Veon Bell is going to get all the way to the end zone on an 83-yard scamper. Unbelievable opening play here in FedEx Field, and the Jets will take a 7-0 lead, but Tremont Smith was ready to go as he is going to get the Redskins in position to possibly tie this thing up as he will return the kickoff all the way to the 21. Adrian Peterson back in the lineup, and he makes a nice play, but he will get whacked and fumble the football. It's going to be picked up by Trey Quinn, so the Redskins not done here yet. Haskins going to throw to the end zone. It's going to be caught for the touchdown. Jordan Reed, so glad he's been able to stay healthy this year. Please knock on wood for him. Here's Donald. He's going to throw this one. That's going to be complete to Robbie Anderson for the first down at the 40, a 15-yard gain. Now a third and 10 for Donald. He's throwing again. He's again got Robbie Anderson for the first down. Now from the Redskin 48, Darnold looks, he throws, he's got Robbie Anderson again. Is anyone going to cover him? Is anyone going to blanket this man? Third and 10 now for Darnold, and again, throwing towards Robbie Anderson, but this time incomplete. Very nice defense there. Fourth and 10, Jets will go for a 47-yarder, and not a good attempt. Here's Adrian Peterson again on first and 10, getting a good gain and getting smacked by Jamal Adams, picked up and racing towards the end zone is Jelani Jenkins for the touchdown, and the Jets will go up again. 14-7 is the score, and Adrian Peterson has been benched for Darius Geis, who now right there, that was his third run for 23 yards. Geis making the most of it right now. Here's a throw by Haskins. That's going to be caught by Terry McLaurin. But it would lead to a fourth and three field goal here. And, of course, Trusty Hopkins going to knock it through. Trusty Dusty with the field goal. It's 14-10 to 10 now, and Kerrigan comes in forcing the fumble, but Le'Veon Bell will pick it up. And then we'll have a flag at the end of the play, which will result in a face mask helping the Jets. Unbelievable. Monte Nicholson making the bonehead play. So now 14 to 10, and here come the Jets as another nice play right there by Darnold. Another good throw and another good run after the catch. Here's another throw, and that's another completion as it looks like Quincy Anunwa is the one eating us alive right now. Now the handoff, and Bilal Powell will not go anywhere. Second and six, and we've got Darius Geis still taking the brunt of the carries. Five carries now for 29 yards as he attempts. There's a slip by Haskins, but he will get that over to Darius Geis for the first down on third and inches. Now on third and three, looking for a man to throw to. He's going to try and throw that over to Geis, but it's going to get knocked away. So first and ten here for the Jets after the punt. It's going to be Le'Veon Bell, first down pickup. Here in the second quarter, third and nine for Darnold. Again, Le'Veon Bell, and he will not get to the marker, so the Redskins will take over. Third and five for the Redskins. Haskins looking for a man to throw to. He's got absolutely nobody there, so he does throw the ball and sticks it in there to Paul Richardson for the first down. So that'll lead to this second and six play, which will be a completion across the middle to Ratley. And now on a third and seven, it is Jordan Reed who's able to make the play for a first down. Second and inches, Redskins. It's a throw. It's Trey Quinn across the middle. First down play. First and ten now. Here in the first half, and Darius Geis makes a huge play for a touchdown. His first career touchdown reception. He did very well in the preseason. That's his first one here in the regular season. And it ties the ball game up at 17. So now with 55 seconds to go, it's going to be intercepted and taken to the house. What a play on a 23-yard pick six. Sam Darnold makes the big error. And the Redskins will go up. However, the extra point 
is botched by Trusty Dusty. Not so trusty on that extra point. Here's a throw, and that's a beautiful toe-tap grab by Paul Richardson coming out of the half. So now first and ten, and it's Darius Geis, and he is going to find his way to the first down marker to the 35. He's been running really well today. So now first and ten, it's Haskins, and looking for another toe tap, and he gets it by Terry McLaurin at the 10-yard line. It's going to put the Redskins within 10 yards of pay dirt. Now 12 yards of pay dirt, and there's another fumble, and this time it was Darius Geis on the fumble, and it is recovered by Ja'Kai Polite. So now third and nine for the Jets as they take over with the ball, and Darnold's going to go down on the sack. Jonathan Allen with his third sack of the ball game. Huge for the Redskins. Third and three, Haskins under pressure is going to get picked off. C.J. Mosley laying out for that one. And that one is going to the Redskins. So now the Jets, there's Darnold. He's going to throw an inaccurate pass over to Inunua. They will settle for a field goal attempt, which is not even close to going in. So a 23-17 game now. Here's Geis on a first and 10. Beautiful run by him. And he's going to come very close to picking up a first down. They would eventually get it. It's the third and six now, and that's going to be complete. Terry McLaurin, he will fumble the football on a hit from Jamal Adams. And that will be picked up by the New York Jets. And Brian Poole will get it. And Geis will be injured on the play away from the ball. Le'Veon Bell on a third and two is going to pick it up. There's going to be a flag. It's going to be another face mask against Washington. That's going to move the Jets even closer to scoring. Fabian Moreau on the bonehead that time. Here is Bell heated up with the X-Factor. He is going to pick up another first down for the Jets. He, had, he went wild in this ballgame. Here is Darnold, and he's going to throw that in there. He's got an Unwa for the touchdown. And now the Redskins take over down a point at Trey Quinn on second and ten. He will complete the drag route. For a first down, now Haskins looking downfield. He's got Jordan Reed. Beautiful catch by him. Make sure he makes the grab. Now a first and ten. Haskins going to roll to his right, and he is going to find a man. That's Damian Ratley, and that's going to be at the two-yard line. Peterson in for Geis now as he gets another opportunity due to injury, and he will score a touchdown. Adrian Peterson getting in there. It is now a 31-24 ball game, and there's Sam Darnold to Le'Veon Bell. Jets trying to make a move here with 5.31 to go. It's third and six. Darnold slips, and he will throw that one incomplete. So fourth down for the Jets means that the Redskins will take over after a punt. Third and ten, and it's going to be Terry McLaurin with a huge play, but he will fumble it. C.J. Mosley picks up the fumble, but again... When you look at it again, it is not a fumble. Terry McLaurin did not fumble that one. So we will keep the ball here with the Redskins. Incomplete, very nice play. Defensively, the Jets will take over after the punt. Le'Veon Bell, beautiful run. He is lit up. He is ready to go, but he is now injured. As Ty Montgomery coming into the game, signing with the Jets in free agency somehow there is a throw that is inaccurate by Dwayne Haskins as they take over with the football so here we go Jets again with another chance it is Quincy Inunua for the first down they're going no huddle they're losing time but there's a beautiful throw to Inunua again who doesn't get out of bounds he will fumble it'll be picked up by Troy Apke of the Redskins you can see fumble recovery right there, but why do the Jets get the football, Madden? EA, fix your freaking game. But it doesn't matter. There is third and seven. That would be incomplete. And now fourth and seven by Darnold. An inaccurate throw right there will mean that the Redskins can take over and run the clock out. So a terrible glitch there. I really hate those where Madden doesn't understand the rules of football. I picked up a fumble. You gave me said fumble recovery. So give me the football on first and down. Why do they get first and ten? That means that is just terrible, but Le'Veon Bell destroyed us. 195 yards and a touchdown by him. Darius Geis was running quite well before the injury, 
Adrian Peterson, nine rushes for 27, so only three a carry, but a touchdown for him. So good to see him do that. I just We really need him to stop fumbling. In the receiving game, Terry McLaurin was the number one receiver. I would really like to see him stop fumbling the ball as well. He has been a fumbleitis after getting smacked by some guys. Jonathan Allen had a wonderful defensive game, three sacks for him. Apke had a sack as well as a fumble recovery you will see here. Jamal Adams was a beast. He had three forced fumbles. But you can see Troy Apke still credited with the fumble recovery. However, we didn't get the ball. So really hated that. We have some guys who, of course, are going to get some upgrades. We're going to go with Jonathan Allen here. He's going to get one. Quentin Dunbar is going to get one. There's going to be a lot of guys here that are going to get one. So I will let you guys take a look at how that goes as I give my little spiel here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. This is going to be it. Please leave a like on the video as well as subscribe. There is plenty more content just like this in other games, other areas. MLB The Show franchise, we got Mariners going on. That That's going to be seeing a little bit of a cutback. But we've got a lot more Madden content for you to check out on this channel. So please go ahead and subscribe. It is Franchise Gaming. Franchise content all day, every day here. I've been on a little bit of a break, but I wanted to get this video out for you guys. So hope you really did enjoy it. Please give me the response back and letting me know that you enjoyed it. And there is a lot more Redskins to be had here. If you guys want to submit a question for the radio show, remember that you can always do that. Just send an MP3 audio file or even a video file over to FranchiseGuy88 at gmail.com. Or ask to join the Discord in a comment below. We'll probably invite you and you can find out how to partake in other series as well. Thank you guys and I will see you all on the next video. Bye bye. You're a pretty little star boy.